MG has just confirmed another electric SUV, which is a competitor to the Xpeng G6, the Tesla Model Y, the BYD C Line 7, which is fantastic. It really looks nice. Uh, so is it likely to be better? And how much is it going to be? Let's go into what we know. So it's called the MG S6 EV, although officially it's not going to be called the S6, uh, we've confirmed. And it's due to launch in the first half of 2026. And this is going to be, uh, or sit between, the MG S5 and the larger, more premium IM6 SUV, which is giving MG buyers another electric option in that mid-size uh, segment. According to Australian government approval documents, the MG S6 EV will offer two battery sizes, both really, really good, I think. The cheapest one is 62.2 kilowatt hour, and it's an LFP chemistry, which is obviously more durable, uh, known for more affordability. Uh, the larger one is a 77 kilowatt hour nickel manganese cobalt battery, or NMC chemistry, whichever you want to call it, NMC, NCM depending on the chemistry inside the battery, NCM, NMC, depends on the quantity of the materials in the battery. That's why they do that, if you didn't know that. So this generally means longer range, better efficiency, basically, and more energy density. We don't have official WLTP numbers for it, but based on the fact uh, that we know the size of the car and the battery ca capacity and the chemistry, we're probably looking at 450 kilometers WLTP and 550 for the larger battery. That puts it right in line with the Tesla Model Y or the Xpeng G6. A lot of people want a Tesla Model Y, but they don't want the Tesla badge, hence why people have been buying more uh, BYD C Line 7s. Now, the S6 isn't just about range as well, it's fairly nippy. Uh, there'll be both single motor rear wheel drive and dual motor versions. The all wheel drive version will have 120 or 119 kilowatts on the front, 180 kilowatts in the back, giving it a combined 266 kilowatts or 356 horsepower. So that's pretty quick. That probably means 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in five and a half seconds, roughly something like that. So who's this car actually for? I think MG is clearly aiming for families and tech-savvy drivers who want something kind of quite modern, but they don't want a Tesla badge. I do really think they're going for that. MG's EV range in Australia has been steadily growing. This new S6 EV looks like it will fill a gap, I think, between the smaller, more affordable offering like the MG4 and then the S5 and then the premium IM6. Visually, the S6 takes design cues from the MG4 mostly, I think. It's got slim LED headlights, a pretty aggressive front bumper, really clean side profile, pretty nice and smooth. And of course, it's got the big LED full width tail light on the back. So we don't have final dimensions for it, but judging from the uh, EU patent filings and the spy shops as well, it looks like it's going to be la uh, longer than the current S5 and probably more spacious inside. And I think it's likely to stick with the two rows of seats. It's not a three row SUV and it's not a family bus or anything like that. So here's the interesting part. MG confirmed the platform is actually the modular scalable platform, the MSP platform, the same one that they actually use with the uh, MG4 and the S5 EVs. So that gives it flexible architecture and upgradable software systems and things like that. So there should be decent support for over the air updates and possibly future upgrades. And it also keeps costs down to some degree because MG can build multiple models on the same bones. Hello folks, I'm Ben Alexander. Thank you for tuning in, I really appreciate that. I've had some very nice comments recently. I've said this once before, I think, and I, I generally don't get the bad comments that people talk about on the internet. Really, really nice comments, so thank you very much for, for that. Uh, some people saying that they like that I have lots of interesting things to say throughout my videos and I have little bits of data and things like that, interesting stuff kind of laced throughout. And I, I think in fairness, I do that because it, it makes the video, videos more interesting. And uh, you're also a very highly intelligent audience, so I kind of have to do that. But uh, thank you very much for, you know, for, for watching my videos. In terms of price, this is where it gets really competitive. Uh, we don't have exact numbers, of course, but based on where the S5 uh, is priced, which is just under $41,000, Aussie dollars, walking, like when you walk out the door, uh, and with the expected spec upgrades, the S6 will likely start at around 50,000 Aussie dollars, I think. This is my speculation. Maybe if you get the ex expensive one, that pushes up towards 60,000. I'd be surprised if they cross that. 
So that still undercuts the Model Y quite a bit, especially the all-wheel drive version, which starts at $68,000 in Australia. And then if you want to choose another color other than the pearl white version, it's almost like $2,700, I think, $2,800. Uh, for some reason, I have no idea why. I just think that's a, that's a horrendous amount of money to pay. And then if you buy one of those on finance, you end up paying 80 grand for it in total, which is just crazy. But of course, in Australia, people, you know, it's all about an evaded lease these days and that sort of thing. So uh, it doesn't seem to be a fantastic deal to me if you buy one on credit. But if you've just got the cash, you want to go buy one, uh, it's up to you. But you've got some really good options if you look at XPeng and BYD MG now. So I don't think, you know, it's very competitive, I don't think, at this point for Tesla to do that, to charge that much money. Also, the MG6 is not actually going to be called the S6. That was confirmed in the last week and a half because MG is clearly positioning itself as the value-focused EV brand. Their EV sales in Australia have grown 250% in the last 24 months. And if they can bring in the S6 with high-spec, strong-range, sub-Tesla prices, by a handful of thousands of dollars at least, they'll bring, they will capture more of an audience, I think, in Australia. What's the takeaway? Here's what we know. MG's bringing the S6 EV to Australia in the first half of next year, 2026. Two battery options, both brilliant. 62, 77 kilowatt hours. LFP chemistry, NMC chemistry, up to 266 kilowatts of power, 180 kilowatts if you just get the rear wheel drive version. To expected WLTP range, 550 kilometers, roughly 450 for the lower one. Pricing expected to be about 50 to 60, somewhere in that region. That's my spe speculation. I have noticed that if you look on the internet, people generally aren't speculating about the price, but I'm gonna give it a go, 50 to 60 grand, roughly. BYD C-Line 7, Xpeng G6, uh, obviously, the Tesla Model Y, these are the competitors for it. And honestly, I think if they get the price right for the MG, they could kind of start to capture more of this mid-size EV segment. Because if they get it wrong, they will simply fall behind and they'll lose, lose that, basically. So let me know in the comments what you think. Would you buy a Tesla, BYD, Xpeng, or MG if you had to choose from one of those brands in this mid-size you know, mid segment?